Okay, this is the uh, Thorin's TD-190 fully automatic turntable. It's also uh, just this video is just to give you a quick little idea of the cosmetic condition and also a quick demo just to let you know everything is working. Uh, the dust cover is in really nice shape. Uh, it's just got some uh, minor surface scratches on there. There's no cracks. Also, too, the uh, the plint is really nice. Uh, no nicks, dents, anything on the edges or scratches or anything. This turntable actually appears to be uh, barely used. The only thing I did do is um, I did change the, the uh, belt. Um, that's by OEM uh, Specs by Thorin's. Uh, that is the original size, or it's the correct size belt that's on there. And that's actually pretty important, otherwise your speed will be off on this turntable. And the only issue I have is um, the uh, dust cover hinges. They do not hold the uh, dust cover up, so I'm holding that up. And what I'm going to do is just take a quick little break. Just going to get a record and remove this desk cover uh, to make the demo a little bit easier. Okay, and we're back. Just going to hit the uh, start switch. Also, too, this uh, does come with the, uh, the original owner's manual. And also, too, the uh, cartridge is in good shape. That's an Ortofon. It's an OMB. The stylus is uh, still nice and clean. Uh, it's probably got a lot of play left on it, too. Just going to show you the uh, speed selector. Uh, it's got 33, 45, and 78. Not that many people use 78s anymore, but it is on there. So 33, 45, and 78. Just going to show you the uh, manual tone arm lift. Works fine. And drop. Nice and smooth. And just going to also show you that the uh, automatic return uh, is working correctly. And there you go. <clears throat> Tone arm removes to its cradle. And the turntable shuts off. So thanks for watching. And good luck bidding. Any questions, feel free to contact me.